What would you have me do? All right, all right! You must gather your party before venturing forth. All right, all right! It's nearly over. Kalar retreated into this vault. There's no way out. Our mage reports a strange magical aura behind the door. We've got to be careful. Are you ready for the final battle? What do you say then? Are you ready for this final battle? Hurry! The longer she's able to prepare for us, the harder the battle will be. Your wish? Yes, yes? Thy called. Grace. Servant awaits. Hurry up! What would you have me do? You insist in your wish? What do you say then? Are you ready for this final battle? Well said. Open the door, soldiers. The Shining Lady's Crusade ends now. And so we reach the end of a long, long journey. If you only knew the sacrifices I made to bring us to this point, all of them worthwhile. Change is upon us. Great and righteous change. You've come to face me, so do so. Now is our time. Fernan, you caught me in your spell as well. I can't move! Have I now? How distressing for you. You'll just have to stand and watch as my plan reaches fruition. Your plan? What do you mean? Fernan, what are you doing? You'll find out soon enough, my puppet. Once the devils begin their march into this world, bleed, Ballspawn. Bleed for my master. Gods help us all. They've opened the portal to the Nine Hells. Out! Everyone get out and get the vault door locked now! Leave them. There's no time. We have to secure the vault immediately. Devils could flood this place any second. Evernan, what have you done? I will not let him corrupt our work by bringing forth an army of fiends! Crusaders, with me! Hurry up! If you insist. Nature's servant awaits.
present authority figure. Back hold. Get me out of here. Quickly, please. Back, you devils! Back, I say! You know, I don't think I've ever slain a fiend before. This should be fun. Well, it should be fun for someone at any rate. Watch out! All right, all right! This is no sight for mortal eyes. Would you have me if you insist? Your wish? You call? Hurry up! I nature servant awaits. Kayla, Kayla, wait! Please, talk to us! You 
promised to restore my wife. Yet all you've brought us is more death. I look in your eyes now and I see nothing but madness. You call me mad? I'll show you madness! I'll- No! No! I'll not kill an innocent man. I've not fallen so far as that. But I cannot stop now. Do as you will. Join me, or no, I care not. Your part in this is done. Now let me do mine! I cannot stop. There's no turning back for me, not now. I swore an oath once, long ago. I must keep it. I demand. Your wish? If you insist. You have come far. But Thrix the Profane's master would have you go no further. For now. You Thrix's master bid him bar all but the Argent for a time. And Thrix would not want to disappoint his master. Unless... If Thrix believed his master would not be his master much longer, if he believed you might slay his master, then Thrix might allow you passage. Master has been most vexing since the business with Kren Chinnabon. Thrix is weary. You are in the first and greatest of the hells, little thing. Nothing here comes free. But perhaps you might be interested in a wager.
power. Keep watch for ancient tombs or any scrolls that might what would contain you have me lost do? You're all right, all right. not delivering us onto our doom. I will grant you your desire. After our fashion. Child of Baal, well 
Welcome. Welcome. You're just in time to witness the fall of Kalar Argent. Damn you, Heffernan! It was your treachery that brought me to this! This is the secret of Kalar's crusade. There is only one soul in Avernus Kalar has ever cared for. Her uncle on Argent. A man who sacrificed all to save her. When I offered her a way to free her uncle, she didn't hesitate. Thousands were killed or driven from their homes in her name. She did not waver. She would put all Toril to the torch to ensure on Argent's release. I wanted my uncle freed, yes. But if the Dragon Spear dead could have been restored, I would have done so. But you could not. No one could. And in your heart of hearts, you knew that. So long I was trapped here, unable to reach the material plane. And then this child walked willingly, blindly, into my domain. No mere mortal, either, but an Azimar. And an Argent. And mine. You dare challenge the great Belafit here in his place of power? After everything I've done, you would have me at your side? So be it. The Child of Baal and the Shining Lady will stand together against this devil's darkness. You are as arrogant as my mistress, and you will share her fate. Suffer the wrath of the Arcane! And... What would you have me do? I did, every sacrifice I made, all to reach this moment. You are free at last, Uncle. I know not what you did to make this happen, Kayla. Whatever it was, the cost was too great. I sacrificed myself to ensure my niece never saw this place again. You knew my wishes, Kalar. Why did you defy them? 
Do you think so little of me, uncle? Did you truly believe I would leave you to rot in the Devil's Claws? I expected my niece to honor her uncle's wishes. How long has it been since we last spoke, Kayla? Have you learned nothing in all those years? The better question is, where is mine? I was brought up in the Order of the Aster. My Asimar heritage and the Argent name assured me a place of honor as a paladin of the Morning Lord. Or so I thought at the time. I had such confidence then, such certainty of purpose. I knew I would rise to greatness. Knew it in my bones. All that barred my ascent were my superiors in the Order. They sought to teach me humility. I see that now. But I could not bring myself to bow to their authority. To any authority but Lathander's. Perhaps not even his. I was told to watch over the library. To guard the volumes within. For they held knowledge critical to the Order's success in the battle against darkness. I coveted that knowledge. In my arrogance, I read aloud from the pages. Not understanding the forces I was invoking. That was how a girl not yet ten years old found herself in this pit. In that cage. She had come here willingly. If in ignorance. By the Nine Hells' Laws, she was Belifitz, an innocent, an Azimar, an Argent, a soul with value beyond measure. All I could do was offer another soul in trade, one without the stain of arrogance, one that was of the Argent line, of a paladin at the height of his powers. I made this sacrifice, hoping that Kayla might someday find redemption for her sins. But she is here before me, and I now know she chose another path. A heavy toll was paid by me and those who followed me. A heavier one still was exacted from those who stood in my path. Am I without regret? No. Would I do it again? Without hesitation. I am an Argent. I hold myself to the highest standard. I know I did evil, though I did it in pursuit of good. I must answer for my crimes. Divine Blood was the key to opening Dragonspear's portal to Avernus. The blood of a powerful devil would lock it once again. Here, take this key. It will open the Dragon Spear Vault. I'll not be returning to Toril. What? No, Kayla. I'll not allow it. The portal can only be closed from this side. Someone must remain behind. I shall sever Avernus' connection to Toru, and then stand guard. Whosoever would cross the threshold to Dragonspear will first face Kalar Argent. I can do nothing to change the past. What future I have is here, in this place. That was true from the moment I first summoned Belafet. Uncle, please go now before Avernus' legions overtake us. Do what you can to redeem the Argent name of the shame I brought upon it, I beg you. I... May Lathander's light shine upon you, child.
Bambo. The rift twixt the worlds is closed. It's a sad state of affairs that a dreary vault has as much appeal what as this one now do? does. I went to Avernus and came back. I really did. And nobody who wasn't here will ever believe it. Ugh. <sighs> What I can to help you. Your wish? All right, all right. Hold your fire! Everyone, hold your fire! Hurry up! If you insist. It's good to see you. What happened? And what of our shining lady? It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Master Argent. I wish it were under different circumstances. If there is anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to let me know. Our forces are sweeping the castle now, checking for traps or pockets of resistance. The surviving Crusaders have either fled or surrendered. The siege is ended, as is the threat of the Nine Hells. I believe the time has come to celebrate. <laughs> Is that all you've got for the savior of Dragonspear? You can do better than that. Three cheers for the hero of Baldur's Gate! Good. You're still here. I was hoping to have a word with you in private. It's really more a question of what I can do for you. Baldur's Gate has done well by you, I know, but have you ever considered taking up residence elsewhere? The Lords of Waterdeep have deep pockets. They could make your life very comfortable. We will talk again soon, I'm sure. Until then, relax. The gods know you've earned a rest. I have many fine wares! What would you have me do? I'm impressed. When I learned it was you in the vault, I wasn't certain you would be equal to the task. I'm rarely so pleased to be wrong. You are more than welcome in my sight. Oh, tis the hero of Baldur's Gate. Or perhaps a new sobriquet is in order. Liberator of Dragonspear, Bane of the Shining Lady. Sometimes it is necessary to take up arms for the greater good. But humility is the true mark of a hero. This hero could learn a thing or two about being a hero. <laughs> Leave it to Volkin. One night and, let us say, three casts of ale. And I will have found the words to match your deeds. Your tale will be told alongside those of the great heroes of old. Take some time to savor our victory. You earned it. My companions and I will continue working to root out any further pockets of resistance that may remain in the castle or around it. Fare thee well. Order is what matters.
still we wait. Ski Silvershield, born into privilege, yet driven to rebel against the destiny her father mapped out for her. She has been challenged, as you have. Has she proven worthy, or been found wanting? Let us see. What's happening? I, I don't understand. you have me do? What the hells? No. Gods! No! What have you done? What have you done? There's only one monster here. The one that stood on Boar Skier Bridge, a skull scorched into the stone around him. The one covered in Ski Silver Shield's blood. May the gods help you. No one else will. In the name of the Council of Four, you are under arrest for the murder of Ski Silvershield. You will return to Baldur's Gate to be tried for your crime. What would you have me believe? An innocent girl lies dead at your feet. Your hands are red with her blood. I will do what I must. You return to Baldur's Gate under circumstances much darker than anyone would have believed. What should have been a moment of crowning triumph is instead a nightmare beyond your understanding. Ski Silver Shield lies dead, seemingly at your hand. The Siege Force's clerics are unable to revive her. Her magically preserved body has been transported to Grand Duke Entar Silver Shield, who clings to the faint hope that his daughter might someday be resurrected. You share that hope. Without Ski, you may never know the truth of what happened that dark night. Once you thought yourself free of your father's taint. But as you journeyed to Dragonspear Castle, you realized this was not so. You are a child of Baal, Lord of Murder. A piece of him resides in you. Has it grown beyond your control? Was yours the hand that plunged the dagger into Ski Silvershield's breast? You do not know, and that fact haunts you. When you left Baldur's Gate, people cheered you as the city's hero. Now they look upon you and see something very different.
We've heard the testimony of those who traveled with the Flaming Fist expedition to Dragonspear Castle. Many told of how the accused was found in Dragonspear's main hall, with Ski Silver Shield dead at his feet. Corporal Bentz Duncan bore witness to a disturbing incident involving the accused at Borskier Bridge. He is here to share his recollections. Bridgeport was under siege by the Crusade. The accused led an attack, driving Kalar's forces off. After that, he collapsed while crossing Borskier Bridge. The symbol of Baal, Lord of Murder, sealed itself into the stones around him. The mark of Baal does not in itself prove guilt, but it does cast a darker shadow of suspicion upon the accused. We cannot forget that Saravak, another spawn of Baal, brought our city to the brink of war. Thank you for your service, Corporal. You may go. As for you, our diviners have presented evidence of your deeds since leaving Baldur's Gate. Deeds that speak to your character. Is there anything you wish to say in your defense? So noted. Is there anything more you would say in your defense? So noted. Is there anything more you would say in your defense? So noted. Is there anything more you would say in your defense? We've heard much evidence today, both for your character and against it. Now we, what is that commotion? Out of my way, out of my way, you sniveling pigs! We can't let you do that, my lord. Do you know to whom you speak? I'll have your family on the street begging for coppers if you don't let me pass. You do not want to do this, Entar. Do not tell me what I want. I know what I want. You! Murderer! You killed my little girl! My ski! You put on a good act, but I know the truth. It wasn't enough to slay her bodily and leave me childless. You had to destroy her soul too? This is not the time. Tell me what you did with it, fiend. Before they send you to the gallows, tell me, what did you do with the dagger? The priests can do nothing. She's gone forever. My ski. Order. Give me order or I'll have the square cleared. Order. A father's grief is an irrational thing. Let us return to the facts. Peering into the weave, our diviners determined that Ski Silvershield's soul now languishes within an artifact called the Soul Taker Dagger. All efforts to locate the dagger have amounted to naught. While her essence is imprisoned thus, Ski can never be returned to life. If we had the Soul Taker, she might possibly be restored and confirm your innocence, if indeed you are innocent. Guilty, I say. Guilty. The Flaming Fist will take custody of the prisoner until a decision is reached. Take him away.
Good morning. Chains become you, child of Baal. The people you saved have turned on you, treating you as... I warned you of the darkness running through your veins. Divine blood is not to be trifled with without control. Power is naught but peril. But I am confident you will survive this. A greater destiny awaits you. Rise, it is time. You know what you must do. Embrace the darkness coiling within you. Take the dagger, kill her. Take it. Even now you resist. You are more powerful than I thought. All that I truly require is your presence. Curious, your mind is not so open to me as it once was. You resist my will. Your power grows, child of Ball. Awake. Tell me, what did you see? Despite my efforts, you remember. Impressive. Greater powers than you have challenged me, yet I still stand. You will escape this place. We will meet again. Fear that meeting, child of Baal. We have so far to go together. How are you? You know the killer's name? You have proof? Justice is an ideal we must all strive for. But circumstances do not allow for the ideal. The Council of Four must bow to the practical. Were you anyone else, this would be a simple matter. For Entar, it is very simple. He wants your head. That will not change any time soon, certainly not while his daughter remains in her current state. But you are the slayer of Saravok, the hero of Baldur's Gate, the champion of Dragonspear. Your service to the Sword Coast is beyond dispute. Unfortunately, your heritage is now also beyond dispute. There can be no peace for a child of Baal. Those near you will inevitably suffer as Ski did. That is your nature. There are as many people in this city ready to fight and die for you as there are those baying for your blood. Baldur's Gate is in turmoil. After extensive deliberations, Eltan, Leah Janath, and I have decided it would be best for all if you and the darkness within you left Baldur's Gate as quietly as possible. A guard will escort you out of the city. This is a poor reward for all you have done for us, I know. 
but it is the best we are allowed. Go someplace far from here, and do not return. Fare thee well. Follow me. Very well. Your deeds will catch up with you soon enough. Your belongings are on the table. Take what you can carry and head down to the trap door. You destroyed the Iron Throne in Kalar's Crusade. Noble Pratt's a small price to pay for all of that, far as I'm concerned. They say about the Silver Shield woman. You killed Saravok. You closed the gate to the Nine Hells. Gotta be a hard man to do a hard job. Very well. Ready to say farewell to Baldur's Gate? Ah, yes, or a no. Follow me and stay close. We'll be traveling through tunnels beneath the city. Duke Belt wants you kept away from the public. Rightly so, I think. Go down the stairs and head west. The cavern comes up outside the city gates. I believe you. My cousin was in Bridgefort. The Crusade Spellstone had poisoned her. She was on the edge of death. You saved her. You saved the city from Saravok. You saved the Sword Coast from the Nine Hells. I don't care what anyone says about you. You're a hero. And that's all there is to it. Farewell. All right, all right! Great. I was... I was scared you wouldn't. I'm so sorry. I should never have let you go to Dragonspear without me. But if I'd been there, maybe... I don't know. Maybe things would have been different. All right, all right! Hey, everyone! I got him! Rip! 
rejoice, Boo! Our friends have returned to us. sure the flaming fist isn't on our trail. Can we take a break? Just for a minute? I th think we could all use a, a rest. What would you have me do? Your wish? Hey, do you feel a little off? Your eyes burn as a thin, acrid mist rises from the ground and envelops you. Your mind clouds. Shadowed figures strike and fade away. Your companion's cries echo in your skull, and the world around you fades to grey. <laughs> 